So I'm making your life the best that it can be. How do you make your life the best that it can be? What is the thing that if you, if you, what is the one thing that makes us human? The, what is the tool that makes it possible for us to live a good life, or any life for that matter? Money. No, where does money come from? It doesn't go on trees. Freedom, no. I mean, freedom is just a tool, a mechanism. What is it that makes it possible? For us, so for example, where, where does food come from? And don't say the supermarket, please. Because that's what people always say. Where does food come from? What's that? Farm labor. Farm labor, right? been listening to too many Marxist videos. Right? <laughs> from farming. I mean, I don't know, labor, not labor. From farming, right? And how many here have the gene for farming? You have the gene for farming? The gene. DNA. G N E. Anybody have the G for farming? Your ancestors had the G for farming? Yeah, I worked twice. No, they didn't. And where did they go? The G just disappeared? Evolution doesn't work that way. Do you have the G for hunting? I drop you in the middle of nowhere and you know exactly what to do. We don't have instincts. We're this pathetic animal. We're really pretty pathetic. Because we we're not born with the knowledge of how to survive. So you put it, and, and it'll be pathetic. If you look around the room, I mean, look, look at what a pathetic animal we all are. <laughs> you're weak, you're slow. I mean, all of us, not just you, me too. We have no claws, we have no fangs. I mean, you go up against a cyber tooth tiger, who's going to win? It turns out you are. Because here we are, and the cyber tooth tiger is a museum. What made it possible for us? to survive in spite of being weak and slow and have no claws and have no fangs. We beat out the Cyber 2 Tiger. We beat out everybody. We are top of the world in terms of nature. Nobody comes close. We're not afraid of nature at all. We have tamed nature. How did we do that? What did we use? Our minds, our reason, our rationality, our capacity to think. Think is what makes us human. Reason is what makes it possible for us to survive and to thrive and succeed. Nobody has the instinct to build a skyscraper. It takes an enormous amount of knowledge to build a skyscraper. An enormous amount of thinking. Never mind build a beautiful skyscraper, which takes a whole other set of skills. But it requires this, the human mind, to be self-interested, to live for your own life, to figure out what is the best life you can live for yourself, means to use your mind, to think, to figure out how to live well, how to find the right profession, how to find the right, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. How do we, every aspect of our life, make the most of it? Not settle, not compromise. Live fully by using our reason to guide our actions. And to some extent, we know. We know that when we get into trouble, usually, it's because we didn't think. It's because we followed emotions, we followed desires, but we didn't really think it through. And thinking it through is what self-interest really is. Thinking it through, according to Ayn Rand, is what morality really is. So if you want to be a moral person, according to Rand, according to the objectivist philosophy, if you want to be a moral person, if you want to be a good person, if you want to be a virtuous person, the most important thing you can do is use your mind. Use your reason. Solve problems. Solve problems doesn't mean math. It means the problems that you face as a human being in surviving, in existing, in thriving in the world in which we live. That's what self-interest is. That's what morality is about. Morality should be about teaching us, every one of us, as an individual, how to live the best life that we can live. What are the principles we should live by with reason as the main one? What are the principles we should live by in order to live a good life? Morality should be about dying and suffering. It should be about living and being happy. 
It should be about the tools that make that possible, giving us the tools to make that possible. The virtues and values that make life the best that it can be for you. And those are objective tools, because we're an animal. And certain principles apply to all of us. The same, for example, using your reason, 